<laughs> I don't know if you guys are qualified. You guys are a little We're bit. back on the morning brew. <laughs> and we got our old friend Aaron Muffaletto. And good to see you this morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Right? And you know Gary. Yes. This yes. is great. Gary, stick around because <laughs> being the economic development officer for the city, you get to be involved in so many different things and help people like Aaron do stuff like job fairs. Well, we create the platform, right? Through right. Innovate Educate, which is supported through our office. Uh, to make sure that we are thinking about new and innovative things yet again like the Made of American Hackathon, like a teen startup weekend, right. like the ski lift pitch. Now we have yet but, another Right, even more than that though, it's, it's helping all the local companies grow, right? right? I mean, there's more than just, your job isn't just to recruit, your no. job is to help the local companies build up and That's grow, right, right? And, and really, that, and that's really an emphasis. We're, it's, it's and, not or. We're going right. to continue to try to get companies to come here, like Fidelity and Canon, et cetera. Right. But we also want to grow our own and grow the companies that are already here and support right. startups and existing companies. And keep our kiddos here. That's yes. the right. important thing, right? right. Well, that, and that's where you come in. So on that note, <laughs> um, so Innovate Educate and various companies throughout the city have partnered up to put on this huge job fair. It's called um, Job Ready Hire, and it's going to be held this Thursday uh, across from Isotope Stadium over at the Pit parking lot. And what it's it is... It's so big you need 7,000 parking spaces yes. for it? Yes. I mean, we were, we did need like 8,000, but you know, we'll, we'll be okay with that. And just a correction, so it's not actually at Isotopes Park, it's across the street, just make sure everybody's aware of that. But after the fair, then you get discounted tickets to go to the park, um, mm. and it's going to be awesome. There's going to be free food, free goodies, lots of stuff. Excellent. And the most awesome thing about this, most awesome, <laughs> is this is age 16 to 24, so mm. a lot of that workforce and that age range they're facing in a problem where they just can't find any work because it's a, a lot tough of the job market older right population is taking those jobs so um and then they get to go through college or they get out of high school and they expect to find a job right away and it's like you don't have any job experience it's it's that tough chicken egg. right yeah. it is that chicken and egg you know you you they tell you you need job experience to get a job, but you keep don't have a job, so you can't get the experience, and then you're yeah yeah. So it's it, it's difficult. So we're trying to help with that issue. Has and that the, been from an economic development perspective? I mean, has that been an issue for a lot of companies around town? Is finding those entry level workers like that? I, I will tell you one of the things that I really love about the Innovate Educate Mission Graduate and some of the things that are finally coming together and collaborating right. is I will talk to a company in the morning that says, "Boy, we're really having trouble finding people." And then I'll talk to people in the afternoon and say, well, I'm really tr having trouble finding a job. I don't think we've done a good job of job boarding ah. and connecting seekers I like with that employers. word, job boarding. We really haven't in the past. And so now we're, we're really stepping that up. And this yeah. is one of those things. This levels. is one of those things. And the great thing about this job fair is, let's say you're 17 years old, you don't have a resume, you don't have a lot of experience, that's okay. You don't even need a resume for this job fair. You show up, and this is the first of its kind. It's actually being funded by the Rockefeller Foundation. And if it works well here, then they'll take it throughout the country. So you show up, you fill out a skills assessment form, and then you get a badge, and then you're matched with all these companies that you would work well with. So, and you can be hired right there on the spot. So you can say, I got food service, I've got, I know the Microsoft Office suite, mm -hmm. I know. I love animals. I love animals. <laughs> and you Finance, put all that stuff, whatever. and then you get like a purple badge that says, I'm awesome. Well, and you or, or, or a series of badges. Or a series so of badges. Instead of a degree, or needing a That's two year cool. or four year degree, here's my badge. And by the way, I know how to code in PHP, yeah. I know how to, right. you know, whatever. And then, and then people can right. see, ah, I can hire based on skills versus right. an extensive resume exactly. or a degree. Right. Right. I, I have this this theory too that people don't read resumes anymore. They really just want to know what your skills are. They don't they don't really care where you you know where you got them mm -hmm. as long as you have them in some ways, right? Well, especially and then it, sometimes it doesn't even matter the job. Even if you worked at McDonald's and you're 18 years old, 20 years old, you have experience doing something. You're getting those soft skills, and that's another issue that a lot of people end mm -hmm. up saying. Well, there's this generation that don't have soft skills. What are we going to do about that? Mm -hmm. right. And that's why we're trying to help make sure they have at least some type of Right. And those job. are the skills like being able to show up on time, being able to mm -hmm. fill out your on time card. Well. Right. Yes. Work on Understand the val and value the differences of the people on right. the team. Basic customer service, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, right? Right. Yeah. And follow you know, follow your manager's directions in the office. Yeah. <laughs> some basic stuff. And and it's things that, you know, 
you, you just have to learn it mm -hmm. in the job world. That's right. Exactly. You know? Cool. Well, the uh, so what are the companies that are actually hiring? So we'll have people like Fidelity, Presbyterians. It, it's going to be literally over 30 different companies. And it's not going to be very high technical jobs, but it's something that will get you in the door and can lead to something bigger. Or even just, you just want a job to kind of get your resume started, there you go. Right. And it's targeted people who are 18 to 24. 18 to 24. So people yep. who are college age and... College, you, um, just getting out of high school, um, Yeah. you name it. And you don't, you don't need to bring a resume. Nope. No resume needed. Just show up, say, hey, here it is, and just kind of make a mental inventory of what your skills are before you go? Yep. I just know what you want to do. Again, it, you don't have to be an expert, very technical at anything particular. A lot of people say, well, I'm not good at anything. You're good at something. I promise right. you that. Right. You, you just have, fill you out have this skills. assessment, and you'll get paired with somebody. Getting your right. foot in the door is key, though. I just right. was yeah. having lunch with Mark Herman, of, uh, who's the CEO of Dion's, this last week. Mm. Right. He started out working at Dion's as a kid. You know, now he's the CEO of the company. Right. Getting your foot in the door of a company is key. Yeah. Once you're in right. there, then you can show your skills, you can show your strengths, you can you can interact with others and, and see great things that you can do. Absolutely. But getting your foot in the door is the big deal, and this is what this helps facilitate. That's great. And it builds those important connections as well. Mm -hmm. A lot, like you were saying, not all the time people look at resume, but right. once you build this network and these connections, Especially they can help people. you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> right. we live in this big little city mm -hmm. where it's, uh, what is it, five degrees of connection. Yeah, it's like I think it's a half a degree here. here. Right. here. Right. Yeah, half. Right. <laughs> well, excellent. We'll be back in a couple of seconds with our friends from uh, Polly's Run and Josh Rogers. And th that means we've got to put on our running shoes. Or maybe just do the running man. <laughs> if you remember the running man. Back in a couple of seconds in the morning brew.